Two sides acting as lodgers face each other at Playmore on Remembrance Sunday as Truro City welcome Dulwich Hamlet. Truro begin the day out of the uh, relegation zone on goal difference but have hit some good form in recent games as following four points at home to Dartford and Bath they took an important point from their trip at East Surrock United last weekend. Tyler Harvey has scored four goals in those three games but misses out today through suspension as Lee Robinson makes three changes. The Hamlet extended their own in beaten run to three games on Tuesday night at home to Western Supermare. We all know they should have picked up all three points when leading 3-1 in the final ten minutes. Akinyemi and Cargbo miss out through suspension as May, Ming and Allen all start, the latter for the first time in more than a month. In this first meeting between the sides, can the Hamlet pick up a win and move to win a point of the playoffs? Kirk, please let us pay our respects to the members of all our forces who have died in the line of duty. To commemorate the 100th anniversary of the Armistice, please join both clubs in a minute's silence. Two minutes. Impeccably observed by everyone around the ground. I'm going for a goal kick. Ming's having to send this down the touchline. He's done just that. Beyond Iffy Allen, it's come. Touch here for Pittman. Chance to throw inside the penalty area. Good challenge, though, by uh, Ming. The loose ball came to Noel Thompson. The shot comes in, and Truro score. Thompson tearing up River Allen. And with less than two minutes on the clock, the first attack of the game, Truro have found the back of the net. A low drive from Allen. Look like Dulwich might have cleared the original danger. Ming, I think it was, putting a good challenge in the penalty area. But the loose ball fell to Niall Thompson. First time pass into the path of uh, River Allen. And he fires across Edwards. The home side have a very early lead here. Edwards gets the ball out from under his feet and chips it towards the halfway line. May can't nod that down to Carew. He might actually have done so. Rooney going in. Good solid challenge by River Allen, the uh, goal scorer. Came to Pittman. Allen again edge of the area. Bundled over fairly by Carew. He got uh, stuck on a crew's feet and then the uh, shot comes in from distance. Chipped over Edwards' bar. Ball forward to Lewington, gets the ball into his feet. They're ahead of Chambers and then spreads the place this near side and the space is open for Niall Thompson. Already made one goal, sends in a decent cross and fired over. Deflected through past Pittman. Allen, the goal scorer, to send this free kick towards the edge of the penalty area from this right hand side. It's going to bounce all the way through. Just needed a touch in there. And it may well have uh, been not past Edwards. Niall Thompson. Allen, three runs ahead of him, one being Lewington, tees up Pittman. Oh, why didn't he take a touch there? The ball was laid out to him 25 yards out. Pass inside to Nathan Ferguson. Fancied long range shot, cannons off Thompson, might uh, set John Paul Pittman on his way. Has he got the next bit of Congo? Yes, he has into the area. Still Pittman, Edwards with the save, it's deflected though. Off, maybe a Congo, it's gone in anyway. Edwards came out to make the save and he's hit it against either a Congo or Pittman. But it's 2-0. Edwards can't believe it, he's made a decent save there and it's just deflected back off the uh, Truro front man. And he'll be credited with the goal, I'm sure. And Ferguson with the shot was deflected off uh, Niall Thompson. And Pittman burst away from a Kongai. Got the shot in. It was saved by the leg of Edwards. The ball deflected back. And whether it came from a Kongai or Pittman, I'm not sure. Pittman will be credited with it. But Dulwich with an uphill task. Instead pokes it to Ming on the right wing. Ming will centre. Away by Harding as far as Carew. Those 25 yards out, he's gone for goal. It was a low save, could have been awkward for the goalkeeper. Torquay, of course, in the Football League not too long ago. Those into Green onto May first time. Green takes it on and fine save by the goalkeeper. Put it back into the danger zone though, but such was the ferocity of the shot from Green, it stung the palms and he did well just get his hands on it. May playing the one two with Green. Very creative player, Vose. Out it goes to Ming again. Still forward to support any attack that might come his way. Foes from Carew this time. Into the area, Clunis. Rolling across him. Clunis with the shot. Good save again. Low save. The legs of uh, Harvey Rivers 
Dulwich with patient football and Clooney has turned his man superbly in the area there. Rivers made himself big and saved with his legs. Pru will float in the corner. So Congo going in, it's come all the way through to Nathan Green. Drags it back, May with the air kick, it's Green again. Shouts of uh, handballs, Green played in a right-footed cross. Referee waves away the claims as May, sorry, Ming under pressure from Pippen the other end. Vose into Clunis, round the corner to May. Oh, first touch was poor from May this time. Handballs get away from him, but Vose has it into the feet of Clunis again. Looking to beat his man, he's done just that. Cross goal it goes, Allen arriving at the far post, into the side netting on the tight angle. So I think to change those, Ming out to Allen. On goes uh, Sanchez Ming down the line. Chips in the cross, Ferguson's there, just over him, it's come through to Clunis. Controlled off his knee and then tried to hit it in towards the near post. It's going to be Carew to deliver again. The keeper should get there, opted to punch, maybe could have caught that from uh, being just six yards out. Vos heading it back out to Carew. Nice dummies away from Booth, Ashley Carew in with the shot, goal in the far corner from Carew. Dulwich back in the game, very composed, finished by Ashley Carew. Great time to score his first uh, open play goal of the season. Fantastic finish as well from the man who so often creates something magical for the Hamlet. Austin Booth maybe could have done better to defend that. Uh, Headed down into the path of Crew from Vos. Crew gambled on the defender, missing it. He did. He came into the area and just opened up his body and just caressed it into the far corner for a lovely finish. Beats him on the outside again on his left foot, low centre. It's Ferguson on to Iffy Allen. No, not quite. Well defended. Ferguson, one of he could have left it for Allen on the first instance, but uh, controlled and looked to find his uh, fellow midfielder. Allen's on the ball now, 18 yards out. Turns the area. Allen one on one now. Iffy Allen off the post. Went to be the keeper at the near post. He was wrong-footed there. Harvey Rivers, so unlucky. Would have been an individually brilliant goal from uh, Iffy Allen. Only the post denies him an equaliser. Ming with the throw in. It's Nathan Ferguson. Vose. Drop of the shoulder. He's away onto his right foot. Dominic Vose, fine save. That ball was swerving. It's a fingertip save from Rivers to uh, knock it out for the corner. That's a really, really great save from Rivers. He's made two... Decent saves already in this game. That's another one to control 18 yards out. Tried to play the first time pass into the path of uh, Ferguson. And Lewington helps that on. Pittman as he flicks away from a Congo. Yes, he has. Gets in the shot. Into the side netting. I thought for a moment it was 3-1. Edwards did as well, I think. Might have hit the base of the post on its way past the uh, goalkeeper's left-hand post. Here's River Allen. Austin Booth. Oh, bit of an air kick and... Ball changes hands. Carew, Ferguson. Out to Clunis on the flank again. Left wing. Try and dart onto his right foot again, you feel. He does just that, Clunis. Gets in the shot. 2-2! Two -two! Lovely goal from Dulwich's number seven. His seventh goal of the campaign. And Dulwich, they richly deserve that with their football at the start of the second half. It has been coming. And Clunis delivers a fine finish to level things up here at Plainmore. Always going to come in on that right foot of his. And he smashes a shot into the far corner to draw the game level. Players wasting in the box. Crew is coming short. And back to Green it comes. Short corner working well. Green pulls it back. It was blocked by Allen. Crew gets the loose ball, gets to the byline, chips it in. Not a way before Ferguson could uh, get there. Chambers. Allen shoots. Leaning back, it's over the top. Short corner working for Dulwich there. Just couldn't uh, keep his head over the ball, though, Iffy Allen with his final shot. They're knocking on the door, they're looking for that third. Nice idea by May, but the execution wasn't there. Here's Keats, three ahead of him. Lines up the shots, and Edwards palms it behind for the corner, full stretch. Open his body up there, uh, Noah Keats. Try to curve it inside the near post. Edwards, a uh, tremendous save. <laughs> Carew, Clunis, Tomlin. Clunis wants it back and gets there onto his right foot. Nyron Clunis! Open up for him. Clears the crossbar though. Ford Tomlin, his introduction 
been very positive for the Hamlet so far. And he's popped up on the left wing now, Gavin Tomlin. Tomlin onto his right foot, deflects it all just over the top. The deflection took it close to the goal, it's just sailed over the crossbar. Tomlin trying to wrap his foot around that. So close to uh, flying in, that could have gone anywhere, that little deflection. Sure, unlucky not to get a free kick. Ming. Away by Grimes, only to those. Knocks down for Clunis, he's got three up, it's four on three in Dulwich's favour. Clunis shoots, it's one of the near post this time. Well, he had runners ahead of him, Clunis. They were taking the defenders away. <laughs> Cook, Tomlin and Allen all making runs. <laughs> Chambers stooping low to head that down to Green. Could have taken a touch on Nathan Green. Towards Cook. Gets up well in the air there, Anthony Cook. And it's a foul by Conga shortly. Play goes on. Conga thought he'd uh, made the foul. It slipped through. It's Noah Keats. It was easy to get there. It's not got there. It's 3 2. Oh, Truro with a sucker punch. Under the course for much of the second half. Dulwich went to sleep two or three times there. And ball across goal. Everyone stopped. I'm not sure who's turned it home. But Truro having had to defend for their lives for a lot of this second half, have regained the lead. Well, Kongai was waiting for a whistle to uh, go against him for a free kick. It ended up going wide. And uh, when the ball came across goal, it was a simple uh, finish around at Edwards. Game management so crucial for Truro now. But it's all that attacking flare out there. They're surely going to create another chance, though, to get the ball back. On Lewington goes, he might find a fourth. Wrong side of the far post. Plays all the way across goal. That would have killed the game. On the uh, left hand side, Vos sprinting forward now. Green. Cook. He's gone for goal again. That's why the near post this time from Anthony Cook. All the way along the ground it goes, and there's the full time whistle. Yeah, I was disappointed with our start. Um, we've done the opposite to what we've asked them to do. Um, there seems to be a lot of ignorance in the changing rooms in terms of respecting uh, what we're telling them. Um, and then obviously getting beaten by the same things that we're saying we need to be aware of. It's a, for me a double blow. Um, and then we start to you know, work a bit harder. We start to pass the ball and play it in the way we ask them to play and then we get back in the game and miss uh, a hat full of chances before and after that. Um, I don't think there's a team in the league that, that will create as much opportunities that we do. Uh, but unfortunately, we're not, we're not clinical enough as, as a team. Um, we're not ruthless enough as a team. Um, I suppose um, that is the difference with the guys at the top of the league and even the middle of the league that they have players who might have two opportunities and they'll score at least one of them and we don't. Uh, and that's, that's our reality at the moment. When you say they were ignorant at the start of the game, what was it you'd asked them to do in that first 15 minutes that they didn't do? As a back four, we asked them for both full-backs not to be attacking at the same time, which is obviously quite a basic thing, but even more so against uh, against this team, we played two up top, um, and we had, for the second goal in particular, um, both, both full-backs up. Um, when the ball got turned over, it was 2v2. Um, <clears throat> and then, uh, the first goal was a comedy of errors. Sanchez should just basically step onto the ball and clear it. He lets it come back, and from there on, it never gets cleared. We don't get close to anyone. Um, Preston gets the hand to it. I think he should save it as well. Two uh, well taken goals from our point of view. Did you feel that says that we were going to go on and win the game? Yeah, we were, we were the stronger team. Definitely the stronger team, and um, you thought the momentum was with us. But after we scored the second, uh, our mentality was a bit hurried. Um, we started making poor decisions and, and rushing things. Um, we needed to clear our heads and unfortunately we weren't in control of um, our emotions as, as players um, and, and sort of ended up defending uh, opportunities rather than you know, having a clear head and making the right pass or shooting at the right times. There was a lot of hurried shots.
wild efforts, to be quite honest with you. Um, and we basically didn't make their goalkeeper work in the last 20, 25 minutes. It's definitely a, a tough league in terms of uh, anyone can beat anyone. That's been proven. <coughs> um, on the balance of the games that we've just dropped points, we shouldn't have dropped the points. It's different when you understand that uh, you know you've played against a team and they've you know they deserve to beat you, but that hasn't been the case. And um, yeah, for me now, I feel like we're, we're talking to the players and probably saying the same things, and it's a shame because as, as men they're good lads, but unfortunately I don't think they respect themselves enough and respect the, the wage that they've been paid by this club in in a bad time for the club. I just don't think that's, they're grasping that. And, you know, unfortunately, uh, if I'm staying at this club, I can't watch that.